Hey, what's going on guys? Dana from ModBot here, and it is no secret that in 3D printing, moisture can be detrimental to the success of a print, to the strength of a print, and to the overall look of the print. A few months ago, we took a spool of TPU that had been opened for about a, a year or two, we printed something out with it, then I put it in an active uh, heating chamber, I baked it out overnight, I did another print, the exact same print, exact same settings, and we did a comparison. Well, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at another kind of dryer. This is an inline active filament dryer. Now, uh, this comes from a company that I saw up at Bay Area Maker Faire last year. I've actually been sitting on this for quite a long time. Right after I got back, I got really busy. I moved, this got thrown in a box, but I finally found it again. I took it out and said, it's time to put this thing to the test. Essentially how this thing works is filament passes through here. As it passes through this box, it is heated, the moisture is removed, and then it feeds directly into your printer. The serious benefit to a setup like this, if it works correctly, is that you don't have to bake filament out for hours before printing with it. You should be able to just run the string of filament through here. By the time it gets into your printer, it's dry and your print should be turning out great. Now I've definitely heard mixed things about these kinds of setups, so I wanted to come to my own conclusion. We've got a spool of nylon that's been open for about 12 months. I'm gonna go ahead and run a print with it. Then we're gonna go ahead and run it through this inline filament dryer and see how different the prints look or even if they, if they look different at all. So without further ado, I hope you guys are looking forward. Let's get into printing. Once the prints were done, I took both the wet and the dry print, I put them side by side and I really looked at them to see whether I felt one looked better than the other. Um, the dry one should have looked better, but from looking at it, I really don't see any difference at all between these two prints. I mean, I really looked top, bottom, left, right, checked to see if one had any delamination issues and I, I couldn't tell any difference, so you let me know what you guys think. I did want to try one other print though. I have a translucent red PTG that I know has moisture in it because I can actually see little bubbles when I print with it sometimes. And I went ahead and printed out Chep's little 20 by 20 millimeter calibration cube. This should be an easy print just to see quickly if there is much difference between the wet and the dry version that has gone through the inline filament dryer. I set the temperature to 75, which is what was recommended for PTG, and I purged 1,000 millimeters of material. This is to ensure that the material that is in there when it starts printing has actually been dried by the dryer per the instructions recommendations. Then I ran the exact same 20 by 20 cube without any settings changed, and I put them side by side to see whether there was any difference at all. Looking at them side by side, again, I don't see much difference at all. If any, I don't think the one on the right looks substantially better or really even better. Some of the shots, it looks slightly worse, but that could have been due to lighting. I don't want to say that it made it actually worse, but I definitely don't see the major improvement or improvement I was hoping for by using this dryer. If you do think that the dry version looks better, let me know in the comments down below. I lastly wanted to just quickly open this up and see what was inside of it. It's essentially two E3D V6 heat sinks with a heat block custom fitted to the center. So when you set the temperature, it heats that heater block to a certain temperature, the material passes through, and in the short period of time that it passes through, it's supposed to absorb all the moisture or bake it out very quickly. In theory, I I like the idea. I really wish that it seemed to work, but from what I'm seeing here, I just don't see much of a difference, which again is unfortunate. There's no reason that you'd want to get this if it's not actually going to be making much of a difference. So 
I figured I would share this experience with you guys. It's not what I was hoping for, but it's kind of what I figured based off some other things I had seen online regarding this. Um, if anyone has a different experience or would maybe like me to run some additional tests with this, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you want to support the channel, Patreon links will be down below. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome and allow me to keep making this content for you guys. As always, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video, and on that note, I am out. Peace, guys.